Hey guys, it's Crystal here from theweatheredfox.com. Just wanted to pop in and share a quick tutorial on how to edit dark spots in photos using the free program called PicMonkey. So this is a photo that I edited really quick for my friend Lauren from Bless Her House. She was stumped with her photography situation. She's got a super dark kitchen with no natural light except for at the very end of the room with her French doors next to the table. So obviously you can see when she takes photos, she's getting a really bright um, pockets and then really dark pockets in her pictures. Um, so she was asking for suggestions on how to um, edit this easily so she didn't have to retake those photos. So um, I hopped on PicMonkey really quick and I shared with her what, what I usually do for um, problem areas like this. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to focus. See, this part of the room is already nice and light. Um, so I'm going to start focusing kind of on this area, which seems to be a problem area, and then back here, which is even a little bit darker. <clears throat> so the first thing that I'm going to do is change the, the highlight and the brightness and maybe the contrast. And I'm going to play with this a little bit, so bear with me. I mean, that's already helpful, but see how this, it kind of starts to wash all of this out and we don't really want to lose all of that. So, okay, that looks good to me. And the next thing I'm going to do is go down to sharpen. I'm going to up the clarity a little bit. And the sharpness, press apply. Now you have to remember at the very end, um, this technique is um, one that I'm gonna be splicing a couple different pictures. It's the same picture, but different edits together. So all of this down here is, is not gonna look like this, and up here is not gonna look like that. What we're really focusing on is this area here that was dark. So that's my first save. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And I can save this as middle. Okay, so it's going to take us back to that photo and then I'm just going to now focus my attention on the very back of the room. So I'm going to continue to brighten and um, up the highlights so that it kind of matches. We don't want to wash it out, so we just have to be careful of that. So I might increase the contrast to help with that. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Uh, that, that looks okay. <clears throat> so once again, all of this looks pretty bad. But when we put all three images layered onto each other, um, you'll see how you'll see how it's going to turn out. So I'll save this as okay. And the last step, I'm going to undo all of my edits so that I have the original photo. And you're going to choose overlay, pick your own, and you want to choose the middle of the kitchen first. It's going to go right on top of your photo. You want to resize it so that they're exactly right on top of each other. This is not a quick edit um, if you have to do a whole bunch of these, but it does save some time instead of having to reshoot an entire room. Okay, so here is my middle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on what's called the overlay. That's the image that's over the first one, and I'm going to go to eraser. I'm going to 
put my eraser size high up and my eraser hardness way down. When you change the eraser hardness to the lowest setting, that means that the center is going to have the strongest erase and then all around it is going to be a lot softer so that will give you a nice blend. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to be erasing the image that I just put over top. So whatever I click on, it's going to erase that part of the image that I just put over top. And you can see what happens. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, combine all of these. So it's going to create a one new image, kind of like squeezes it down. So now it's all one image. So if I click on this, it's not going to move around. It's all one image. So I'm going to do the same thing again, except for now I'm going to be focusing in the back corner here, which we want to brighten up. So I'm going to find my photo from the kitchen in the back. Open that up. And I'm going to make it the same size. You can always go back and fix this if it's not exact. And I'm going to go to my eraser. And I'm going to erase everything except for this is what I want to keep in the back. And if you want to add back in, if you think you like, you want to blend it a little more, you're always welcome to go back through and add a little more in, make it a little brighter, blend it. Yeah, you play with it. See, I think that's a little too bright there. So I would go back in and erase it. Blend it. Yeah. So there you have it. It's a pretty reliable way to edit these images if you don't have fancy um, editing software, but Keep in mind that PicMonkey can get kind of bogged down and can run kind of slowly as you could as you could kind of tell. Um, but I mean, when you're in a pinch, it works. And that's it. It's a super quick way to edit your photos and fix all those wonky dark spots in your house. And it's a free program. So win win. Thanks for stopping by, and if you have any other questions, feel free to email me at crystal at theweatheredfox.com.